Okay, for today's presentation, I will cover the following areas. Firstly, I will cover the overview of SOG and our services, followed by our specialist medical practitioner. Third, uh, financial highlights, and lastly, corporate updates and future plans. Our services. For SOG, uh, our services remains the same with four business segments, that is the ONG, cancer-related, pediatrics, and dermatology. For cancer-related, we have added new services in first half of 2021 this year, and that is the thyroid and colorectal surgery, diagnostic and therapeutic endoscopic procedures. With these new services, it has now expanded our list of medical services offering to our patients and their families. These are our networks of clinics. We are strategically located in most established private hospitals and medical centers in Singapore. Next, let's, on, let's move on to our specialist medical practitioner. Please allow me to introduce some of our, uh, all of our doctors. As of today, we have uh, SOG has 16 specialists comprised of seven ONG specialists, four pediatricians, three cancer specialists, and two dermatologists. Let's take a closer look at who they are. Firstly, we have our ONG specialists. Uh, we have Dr. Bae Suan Chong, who is also our executive chairman, Dr. Chu Wan Ling, Dr. Heng Tong Lan, who is our founder and executive director. Then we have Dr. Hong Zhu Chin and Dr. Lee Kin Wai. Dr. Lee Kin Wai is also our founder and executive director. Next, um, two others ONG, we have Dr. Natalie Chua and Dr. Clara Ong. These are our three cancer specialists and two of them have just recently joined the group. On the left, we have Dr. Cindy Pang, she's a gynae oncologist. And then um, Dr. Sim Sien Ling, she, Dr. Sim is a colorectal surgeon who joined us in April this year. And we have started our new colorectal endoscopy and general surgery clinic at Mount Yi Novena. Then on the right, we have Dr. Chuan, Tan Chuan Chen. He is a breast and thyroid surgeon. He has joined us in June this year. So uh, his clinic is located at Glen Eagles Medical Center. Next, these are our two dermatologists. We have Dr. Joyce Lim and Dr. Liu Hui. Next, these are our two pediatricians. They are general pediatricians. We have Dr. Lim Xie Yan and Dr. Irene Tio. Then these are our, the other two pediatricians with sub-specialization. We have Dr. Christina Ong, who is, the, uh, who is a pediatric gastroenterologist. And Dr. Uh, Petrina Wong is a, a, a pediatrician who sub-specializes in respiratory and sleep. Next, let's move on to our financial highlight. We have announced our first half of 2021 financial performance on Wednesday. This is our first half financial result in comparison to the corresponding period last year. For revenue, um, all four business segments posted an increase in revenue for first half of 2021. And we have posted about 3.2 million, 17% uh, 17.9% uh, increase in revenue. And this is mainly due to the increase in our patient load. Next line item, other operating income, we saw that there was a decrease. Uh, this is mainly due to the decrease in government grants for COVID-19 support uh, schemes, such as the job support scheme, foreign workers levy rebates and property tax rebates. Consumables and medical supply use, we, we because of the increase in patient load in terms of revenue, uh, um, there is also a higher usage of consumables and medical supply use. Employee remuneration expense, uh, the, in the increase is due mainly to the higher bonus provision for our specialist medical practitioner, clinical and management staff of first half of 2021. Depreciation remains uh, fairly cons constant and other operating expense are uh, we posted a small increase, and this is basically due to uh, increase in marketing and administrative expenses. And with that, uh, the net profit for the group uh, for first half of 2021, we posted a 4.5 million net profit after tax. In comparison to last year, we are at 3.8 million. Next, let's 
take a closer look at the group past results performance in comparison to our first half 2021 results. So as I highlighted earlier, uh, our revenue for first half of 2021, we achieved at 3.2 million uh, revenue growth, and that is about 17.9%. The chart on the right shows the revenue by business segment. As you can see, uh, the inner circle is the uh, first half of 2020 revenue by segment and the outer circle is the uh, current period, first half of 2021 uh, revenue by business segment. You could see, see that most, uh, in fact, all our four business segments has posted an increase in revenue. And the largest uh, increase come from our dermatology at 1.4 million, which is at 48%, and followed by uh, our ONG segment, which posted an increase in revenue of 1 million, about 10%. Then uh, followed by pediatric, pediatric segment, 0.7 million, 30%. And then lastly, cancer related at 0.1 million, 3.8%. Okay, next, let's look at the profit from operations. Um, this, the chart on the left shows the uh, historical uh, last four years of uh, profit from operation. And our current first half 2021, we posted 5.5 million profit from operation. And com in comparison to the same period last year, there was an increase of uh, about 900,000 and that is 21%. So if, if, if you look at the profit from operation by business segment, uh, the chart on the right, you will see that uh, most of the segments has posted an increase in terms of the profit from operation. And uh, as I explained before, this is mainly due to the increase in patient load in terms of revenue. So we saw a small uh, dip in terms of our cancer-related segment, and this is because of a change in the uh, um, specialist. So next, move on to the uh, net profit after tax. Based on uh, net profit after tax uh, for first half of 2021, we posted 4.5 million, as I mentioned earlier. And this is about 90% increase. So with that, the earnings per share uh, based on SOG share price of 0. Point, uh, based on the, sorry, the earnings per share is at uh, 0. 0.95 cent for first half of 2021. Uh, if we based on the SOG share price of uh, 27 cents and our first half 2021 EPS of 0. 0.95 cents, SOG is currently trading at around 14 times PE. Okay. Next, uh, the net tangible assets, uh, we saw a slight um, drop in terms of the uh, net tangible asset value of about 1.1 million, 3.6%. Um, this is actually due to the FY20 final dividend payout of 5.7 million in May this year, 2021. And with that, the net tangible asset value per share, uh, we have, uh, it is at 6.24 cents. and. Uh, uh, the, the slight drop of 0.24 cents, 3.7%. Okay. Let's, in terms of financial, bo uh, financial position, the group is financially strong with no borrowings and debt security. Um, this is the balance sheet. The group cash balances stood at 31 million as at 30th June 2021. And this forms the main bulk of our total assets of the, uh, of the group. Next, dividend. For first half of 2021, the board has declared an interim dividend payout of 0 0.65 cents, and this represents 68.5% of the group distributable profits. Comparing to the corresponding period in prior year, this is an increase of 0 0.15 cents or 30%. The interim dividend will be paid on 6 of September 2021. Lastly, let's move on to the group updates and future plans. The chart on the left shows the historical live birth in Singapore. So with Singapore um, stagnant annual birth rate hovering around 39 babies, 39,000 babies, many investors wonder about the growth of SOG. Hence, it is our need to reiterate that SOG um, for our ONG specialists, we provide more than just deliveries of babies. In fact, our ONG specialists provide a comprehensive suite of services catering to the health of female reproductive system throughout a woman's life cycle, from fertility planning to gynecological services. 
Over the years, we have also expanded from just one medical segment that is ONG to four medical segments in our business. And that is the pediatrics, dermatology and cancer related segments. Even though the group has delivered uh, 55 baby lesser as compared to the corresponding period, um, this is, can be seen on the chart uh, on the left, on the right side. So our ONG segment has posted an increase in terms of revenue of about 1 million and that is 10% for first half of 2021 as compared to the corresponding period last year. Thus, our growth in terms of revenue for ONG segment in the first half of 2021 is mainly attributed to the increase in gynecological services that we rendered. Okay. The slides, the chart on the right, left side shows the number of guiding oncological surgeries that we have done in first half of um, 2021. You can see that there is an increase in terms of the number of cases that we have done. So uh, there's an increase about, uh, of about 88 cases and, and that is about 72%. In terms of the number of breast and corrector surgeries that we have done, we have a drop uh, and this is because of a change in our specialist medical practitioner and of course with our new corrector coming uh, came on who came on board in april 2021 uh, there will be some lead time to uh, increase the patient load lastly let's move on to our future plans um basically our future plans evolve around these four um so-called pillars first strengthen so we will continue to strengthen SOG brand awareness and increase market share. Okay, the next pillar, recruit. Um, this is actually talking about recruitment of more specialist medical practitioners to strengthen all our business segment, uh, i.e. this is the organic growth part of SOG. Then uh, we also look at the referrals. How do we then increase the interclinic referrals through a more synergistic approach? Then grow. We will continue to grow um, our non-ONG business segment to increase revenue and profit contribution to the group. So uh, what we are saying here is that we will, because we are well established in terms of our ONG, we will continue to do for we will continue to do that for our ONG. Yet at the same time, we would like to grow uh, our smaller segment, that is the the other three uh, non-ONG segment, to a bigger scale. So lastly, the last pillar is on partnerships. This is an ongoing basis and uh, some of these will bring us new patient loads while we continue to look out for overseas partnership opportunities. Okay, uh, with that, this is my presentation for today.